So here is another take on the famous marquee, except this one is now coated. So this one will never time out. It's infinite. It will keep rotating. Um, but this one will require a little bit of code and you will probably, if you're using this for templates, you will need to maybe do a tutorial or some kind of walkthrough for them so they know exactly how to adjust it. Um, especially if you're using it for taglines or, you know, headlines or things that would require a little bit more customization versus um, get your freebie kind of thing. So let's go ahead and see how this is built. So right here, we obviously have an embed box and it uses div classes and keyframes in order to kind of create this spanning effect. Now, this is something that kind of will take a little bit more tweaking just because um, we it kind of depends on the amount of text you have and kind of the styling, how you'd like it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just grab this embed and then let's go ahead and start building it out. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and create a blank canvas for my marquee. We'll do something small. All right, and I will kind of give this a little color. Actually, let's not, you know, shock you guys. <laughs> okay, we'll do a black one. Okay, so I'm going to now create an empty embed box, embed code, um, and I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger for now. And what you'll wanna do is you'll wanna open it up and then paste our provided embed code. And here is kind of where you can start to really tweak it and hone it. Um, just to give you an example, it will already start working, but you'll notice that um, it's kind of giving you a clipping effect. It'll even work on mobile. You may need to kind of tweak this um, because it is adapting to our desktop size. And if you'd like this to be a little bit smaller, all you're gonna wanna do is kind of adjust your scale. But we do not want this to hang off. Like we wanna obviously apply our own text and our own colors. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to start styling it. And here is kind of like what we're telling the marquee to do. Um, anything that's beyond our bounding box is hidden. Um, and you'll probably just want to kind of focus on your marquee content uh, text design. So because we have this on a black, I'm going to change the color to white. Um, you can also change your text. If it's somewhere on the page, I do believe it might need to adapt from somewhere on the page. So you definitely want to make sure that um, you're setting a font family that's already on the page. Okay, once we save it, you'll see that it's already, you know, kind of turned white. I want to size this to my actual content right here. And then when you preview it, you're going to notice that now it's only... Um, it's still within that bounding box. So what we want to do is, um, because this is um, kind of show it adapted, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to set this um, embed element to the size of what you would see on a Big Mac. So I believe it's 2460. If I could even... Just even. Okay, so it's 2460. I'm going to go ahead and center that. So you won't need to clip it because it's not going to do much. It's just going to, um, it's not going to respond the way it should. So now when we preview it, it's going to be the full span. Um, and then so now we're going to obviously want to put in our own text. So you notice down here that we have a scroll, but then we have a duplicated scroll. So Essentially, what this one is doing is it's saying 2,460 pixels wide is going to fill up this content. And then once that all gets to the edge, gets to your left, it's going to start this one. And then once this one times out, it's going to restart this, this um, script over again. So 
This does require a little bit of copying, pasting, and kind of tweaking and adjusting a little bit just to get it where you want it. Um, and it also depends on your font size, like the spacing. So it's, you know, a little bit of trial and error to start, but once you get it, it's just, it's really amazing. And the, I love using this one. Okay. So we'll just say your product here. So now when we save it, you can see that the 2460 is over here. So it's not going to show anything, but now once we I'm just going to select this and kind of copy and paste it over. Paste it. Now, once we save it, you can kind of see that it's adjusted. And then because we've only duplicated it so many times, eventually this one is going to time out and you're going to see that second div start to pick up and then rotate in. And it's here. It's just kind of, <laughs> there you go. It was just taking a little bit longer. Okay. So I can already tell that, um, I'm just not a fan of the amount of space here. So what you could do is I want to keep it a little bit, the font size, a little bit smaller. So what you could essentially do is you could copy a few more lines right there and then see that it's starting to close that gap. And if you do one more, there you go. So, you know, I'm kind of happy with that and it would depend on the, the amount of, or the size of your text or the, the length of your text. Um, that will kind of determine how many you're going to need to copy and paste. And you could even, you know, remove a few, but you can see here that we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And down here we have one, two, three, four, five. So it, it, it does depend on the length of your text. So now that I have this one kind of like, um, appropriately gapped, I suppose you could say, I'm going to go ahead and copy all of the div that I just, you know, worked on and I'm going to kind of paste it on the second one. So that way, um, you'll constantly have a rotating the same text. Now you do not have to have this all say the same thing. You could have them all say different things. You could, um, I mean, I believe you might even be able to put <clears throat> some emojis in here. So now if we copied and pasted all of those, and we'll just do this one for reference. There you go. So this one is very fun to play with. Um, it does require a little bit of tweaking here and there. But I mean, once you have it down pat, it's just pretty much amazing. Um, and because this is a um, embed code or an embed box, we can essentially kind of make this, you know, just go whichever way we want. So um, to kind of get it this way, what we would do is um, let's go ahead and remove this one. I'm going to create a blank canvas and it doesn't have to be sized any which way so far, but you know, this one would be zero. Oops, sorry about that. This one would be zero. So you've kind of designed it like this, um, because this isn't going to require a background in or a background color. We're going to want to create that ribbon effect. So I would kind of just make a shape, make it really, really wide, kind of size it how I would a ribbon. Okay. And that's going to sit on top. It's going to look like this. And now what you could do is we're going to need a little bit more kind of viewing area. So what you could do is select everything and then just put it on a rotate, kind of put it on the top. And then now I don't need I do not need all of this space just for my ribbon. Okay. And then what you want to do is you just want to make sure that this is stacking. So whatever canvas is kind of overlaying, it's stacking on. 
So go ahead and set that and, oh, because I have that clipped. So you can choose to, you know, clip it to the left or just let it float. Let it do its thing. Um, but yeah, this one is very fun and it's a popular ribbon style right now. So it's just kind of gives your, your page a little, you know, extra, extraness. <laughs> I love it. But that is how we do the coated marquee.